Strips in 3D Coat allow you to repeat a pattern along your stroke. So with one of our default brushes selected, we'll use the hard round and we'll select Actually, let's make a stroke real quick on this surface. And you can see what's happening. It's just a very plain stroke. We'll leave that on there. And now we'll activate a strip. And if you don't have your strips panel activated, it's under Windows, Pop-Ups, Strips. It's right there. So let's select this one here, the very first strip. And we'll make another stroke right alongside this. And you can see that it's actually taken into account the image alpha of the strip, and it's placed it along our stroke. You can do some more interesting effects with this if you combine one of your brushes with uh, the strip. So we'll, we'll use this ring brush here, and let's use the, well, we'll use the same brush for now, or sorry, the same strip, and we'll make a stroke along here as well. And you can see now we've got two rows along that brush. So it's respecting the brush alpha of that ring. Now, for example, you could use one of these zipper strips here and do the same thing right along here. And now let's go to uh, the non-ring one. We'll go to the hard round brush again. And we'll make another stroke right alongside there using the same one. You can see that the effect is slightly different. All right, let's create a new layer and we'll hide layer one. And we'll show another way that you can combine brushes with strips. All right, we'll use a slightly more custom brush. Let's go with one of these sponge looking brushes. And let's select the chain strip. And we'll do a stroke along here. You can see that it's it's doing a sponge-like pattern along the chain that we've just painted. So you can do all sorts of interesting effects when you combine strips with your brushes. And don't forget that you can also combine your masks and